This is 2OF Entertainment. Hi, it's Keith and Lobates here, and I thought I would answer uh, a question posed by Jamie Demon, the CEO of JP Morgan, in which he expressed doubt about the cap on Bitcoin, that there can only be 21 million. And in fact, the cap is slightly lower than 21 million, um, which I'll get into later. Now, it's his uh, skepticism is because he doesn't understand or read code and that's quite understandable because most people don't know how to read code so to do you all a favor i went to the current state of the bitcoin code and i actually found the section in the code it's only about five lines in which the block rewards are specified because there isn't a number in the bitcoin source code where you can point and say that says that there can only be 21 million uh, instead it's a property that arises due to the fact that there are block rewards uh, which are handed out every 10 minutes on average and the block rewards started at 50 bitcoins per block so by modern prices quite a staggering amount um, that people in the early days got from mining and that's why Satoshi Nakamoto is sitting on an absolute fortune so each time a miner creates a block it's allowed to award itself a block reward initially that was 50 bitcoins but it is set in the code that it halves every 210,000 blocks so after 210,000 blocks you will only get 25 bitcoins and then after another 210,000 blocks you'll uh, only get 12 and a half and so on and in fact this halvening takes place a total of 64 times there's a line in the code that says if a halvening has occurred more than that the block reward is zero so what it works out at is that it's 50 um, times 210,000 for the first reward era as it were and then 25 times 210,000 and then 12 and a half and so on and so forth and it's actually not a terribly complicated piece of maths to work out what that number works out at you're looking at one plus a half plus a quarter plus an eighth plus dot 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 plus one over 64 and that conveniently works out at two minus one over 128 so it's just below two and then you times that by 50 and you times that by 210,000 and you end up with a number slightly below 21 million um, and it is there in the code um, again I assure everybody I'll put a link to the uh, relevant uh, source code in the comments um, but there is a second question which is well what if all the um, miners involved in the Bitcoin world decided they wanted to change that. Um, what if there was a general consensus that uh, let's change that piece of code from a particular date onwards. So we'll make it that um, uh, as of January 1st 2025 the block reward will be 10 bitcoins per block forevermore. So that would mean that the amount of bitcoins would just keep increasing and increasing. There wouldn't be a cap anymore. And one of the big selling points about Bitcoin, that it's a deflationary cryptocurrency, would go out the window. Well, the issue there is that you would need to get everybody on board, or rather the vast majority of people. And we've seen in the Bitcoin world that it's actually surprisingly difficult to get everybody to agree to make a change. If there's a terrible bug that looks like it's going to um, completely axe the system, then you see cooperation. But in the past, we've seen arguments about block sizes, which are caused split and ended up with uh, Bitcoin Cash being created. We've seen arguments between factions within that, um, ending up with uh, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision being created and so on and so forth. So um, the evidence is that making even a moderately, um, a moderate change is a hard thing to push through. So something as fundamental <clears throat> as changing the number of Bitcoins per block uh, that are rewarded to the miners from what's in the code and has been there since the very start into something that is no longer capping the total amount of bitcoins uh, the odds of that happening well i'd say there was more chance that everybody in the uk decided that they'd rather speak french instead of english quite frankly um, so there's that cap um, it's there 
uh, it's going to stay there and uh, it's not going to change. Um, I hope that helps, Jamie. And, uh, you know, you might want to ease up on the constant attacking because, to be honest, it's been going on for so long that it's not making you look good. Anyway, that's my message to the CEO of JP Morgan. Hope you found it useful and I hope I saved you a lot of effort in having to learn C++ programming and going and looking at source code. Uh, to the rest of you, look forward to seeing you all in the next video soon. Bye for now.